Around 15 kilometers north of the Belgian city of Ghent lies ArcelorMittal steel mill. But while steel production is considered to be a major cause of environmentally harmful emissions around the world, here in Ghent, they want to prove that steel production can also contribute to a sustainable circular carbon economy. Well, we are operating here the only integrated steel plant of Belgium. That means we are making end steel products starting from iron ore and coal. And these end products, they are going to automotive customers, to household appliances, to construction, etc. And in the primary part of our steel making process, more specifically in the blast furnace, we are using coal to reduce iron ore into iron. And as a byproduct, we have gas. Of gas that is consisting of CO, CO2 and nitrogen. And the CO is being fed now in the future in these four bioreactors in which we have bacteria and water. And it is the gas eating bacteria that transform the CO from the off gas into a new product being ethanol. And this very installation we are next to now is the first of its kind in the whole Europe. The ethanol can then serve in many ways as starting material to produce sustainable aviation fuels, as fuel for cars, or as a versatile chemical precursor. Fermentation is a wonderful technology. It has a vast range of uses and it is using less energy. Less energy is less CO2 and this is good for our product carbon footprint and that's a real win for society and for the climate. In a circular economy, we bring industries together such as the steel and the chemical industry. So regulations must pave the way to make this happen. We will have different feedstocks, waste, biomass and fossil fuels coming together to make chemicals. And this is new also for regulators. The idea of turning waste gas into ethanol was born at Lanza Tech, a Chicago-based biotech startup that has raised more than $800 million from important investors, as well as from the chemical industry like BASF. Post-pollution world is one where humans learn to utilize resources over and over again rather than use them once and waste them. The reality is that the circular economy, this post-pollution future is inevitable. Humans will be a part of it or the world will go on without us. And the way we try to participate in creating this post-pollution future is we ferment gases, we ferment carbon waste and we convert that to ethanol. Sounds simple, but mastering gas fermentation on an industrial scale is not that easy. A deep understanding of the biology of the bacteria that convert the gases into products is essential to develop and operate a viable process. Mastering the biology of gas fermentation is a key element of Lanzatech's gas fermentation platform. That's why Lanzatech employs more than 300 people today and has a large synthetic biology team who have created one thing above all, a unique genetic toolbox for gas fermenting organisms. There are so many waste gases produced by so many very large scale essential industries that we must recycle and repurpose and reuse to prevent that gas going into our atmosphere and causing pollution and accelerating the climate crisis. Our single use of carbon uh, has got to come to an end. We have to go beyond this and recycle the carbon we use. Today, our process makes ethanol, but with the genetic toolbox, we can make sustainable chemicals that everyday people use in the products all around them, using our process, not just from steel mill waste gases, but also from recycled uh, uh, garbage like municipal solid waste that can be unsorted and fed through our process, agricultural waste, and waste from many other uh, uh, factory emissions. The ArcelorMittal plant in Ghent is designed for an annual ethanol production of around 80 million liters. For BASF, Ethanol is a potential raw material to feed its chemical value chains, but BASF's and Landstech's cooperation in the field of alternative fermentation platforms and their products goes much further. 
The goal is to utilize diverse emissions and gasified wastes to produce valuable chemicals and thereby integrate alternative carbon sources into chemical value chains. The goal of the research and development project that we have together with Lancetec is securing the competence of both companies. We have Lancetec's technology, fermentation of off-gases and our downstream processing. And exactly that is the magic behind the two to make a true value out of this. And with that, combined forces can create something sustainable. We have now achieved first inroads to make octanol, for example. We can use it for home care and personal care products that are already in our value chains. And we have lab success in here, and now it's about scale up. We want to establish fermentation processes as a complementary reaction technology to produce intermediates and fine chemicals for the chemical industry. This is not yet done, there is still a way to go, but we've already started with classical fermentation and we now move into alternative fermentation platforms to do just the same, producing intermediates and fine chemicals for chemical value chains. The use of Lanzatec's gas fermentation technology and its products has the potential to become a major step towards a carbon-neutral circular economy in the future. BASF. We create chemistry.